What's up guys, Max here and welcome back to another video. Now if you saw my scouting video looking for bot farms in the wilderness, one of the ones I honed in on was the Green Dragon Bot Farm in the Slayer Cave. Green Dragon Bots have been around forever and they're pretty nostalgic, so I thought I'd go see if I can make more money PKing them than they can make killing Green Dragons. This is the setup I'm going to be using and hopefully I can go catch a bunch of them. It seems like there was a bot nuke a week or two ago, so they're definitely more sparse than they were when I first tested this, but hopefully there's still enough of them around to make some money. Before I get into it, I'm going to go do a test run on my Iron Man to see how much money they're making so I can compare it to what I would be making in an hour. I have my Iron Man geared up in pretty uh, bot-like armor about what they're going to be wearing. I'm going to go see in 15 minutes how much money I can make. My stats are pretty high, but I'm not going to be using uh, potions. I don't know if they use potions or not, so I think this will be a pretty accurate test. Alright, let's start the timer and head out there. Little wrinkle in this is I do have noted bones on, so once my looting bag's full and I start to see things come in my inventory, I'm going to bank at that point, because I think that'll be a little bit more accurate. I can also just show everything in my looting bag, because I'm picking up a lot of the uh, coins and just random drops. I've noticed that the bots do that. Um, so I'll just show everything in the looting bag and add it all up at the end. Okay, that's that's the first inventory. Let's check the looting bag. 100k exactly, plus I'm going to add these in. Another 10k, so about 110k so far. Should have time for one more trip here. Not as much money as I thought it would be for one trip, but... They could do probably about four or five five of them in an hour. All right, just a few seconds left. Oh, there it goes. And that's the last kill. I'm going to loot this and then teleport out of here. Let's check how much we made from this trip. 50k on the nose pretty much. So about 160k in 15 minutes. Multiply that by four and we get 640k per hour from an average bot. I think this is a pretty accurate assessment because I wasn't using potions or prayers for most of it. Um, I use ultimate strength at the end, and some of the bots are lower stats, but maybe they are using potions. We'll get a better sense of it as we do the video. I probably should have recorded this after. I was doing a little testing. I actually ended up PKing two Trover's parchments off of a bot. I'll roll that clip now if I have it. So it is possible for them to make a lot more. That probably averages in. I'll put how rare those Trovers are on the screen. Alright, that's over with. Now let's start the actual PKing. There's an hour on the clock. Let's get going and see how much we can PK. I got keys on. I think I have a pretty optimized setup. Um, and this should be pretty good, hopefully. It's a little frustrating because there were so many of them. But they really did nuke a lot of the bots recently. Hopefully that'll make bond prices come down a little bit at least. I have some gear to hopefully anti-PK if I need to, but I'm hoping not to run into anyone during this hour. I do see someone cannoning at Hellhounds. I might go for them just because I can't help myself. But in general, we're just going to be targeting these bots. Oh, I splashed it. No, how do I splash on that? At least we found one. That was like five worlds in between, which is pretty rough for this because before it was every single world and some worlds even had two of them on them. Oh, this one could see me. Do the level. That's a brand new fresh bot. There's a higher level one. So at least they're making new ones. I mean, obviously that's not good, but from a content perspective, that's exactly what I need. 104. What's my max? 105 is my max, and I know I saw some like 110s and some other really strong ones. Nice. Man down. One key. Lowest is 69 that I can attack. Back to back worlds. I think he's a little too high. Damn it. I should bring my main up here, honestly, for those. If they're going to be that level... Oh, there was a cannon. I gotta hop back. Oh, it didn't hop me. Okay. Might as well check it, right? Can't help myself. D-tab. No, nope, I caught him. I'm gonna keep Smite on, even if he's kind of melting me a little bit. Oh, he just broke my ankles. That's so crazy. Oh, I caught him. Oh, there's a bot here, too. Wow. 108, I can't attack it anyway. Okay, he's down. I had to do it, right? I haven't decided if I'm going to keep that in the price check or anything, but... Smarty one here. 61, so I'm kind of in a really weird spot here where the a lot of them are too high that didn't get banned, and then there's a bunch of new ones that are too low. Perfect, level 82. 
There's another one as well. Wish I could have gotten him at it's level 60, so I can't get him anyway. Get up a little closer. Maybe we can fry him before he runs. But I think that yeah, that got him nice, and I didn't go have to go through the dragons. Really must have timed this super wrong, because a couple days ago they were all like just the highest combat I could attack, and that means they were getting a lot of bones too. I guess the bots really just come in waves, so I just have to catch them when it's my level. There's some, there's one. Two, actually. Ow. Oh, I'm glad I got Prey Mage on. <laughs> back to back dragon fires. Alright. That's four keys. Let's just brew up. Could be that other people are doing this too, and that's why I didn't find uh, many people at first in that string of worlds I was on. 103, that's perfect. Alright, man down, that's five keys. Even if one of them was not a green dragon bot, I think I'm going to include it just because. So it seems like there's three waves of levels, and I wonder if those are three distinct bot farms or just one guy making the same one. Not bad, loot. So that was one that I caught with a decent amount in his inventory. Let's check this one. Another decent amount of bones. They do have looting bags, we can tell because of how many they have. Well, I should reset my loot tracker. I do this every time. Loot tracker's reset, so let's add like 150, or let's add like 300k on at the end like we usually do. So that was actually my lowest one is the guy who wasn't killing green dragons. Not bad. I'm definitely going to outpace the bots. I'd like to take one second to ask you guys to go check out my last video. For some reason, YouTube suppressed it. I think it's some of my best work. I like stumbled into a PvP tournament and it shows me practicing and how I did. It's, it's really cool. There's some other content creators in it and I think you guys would enjoy it. So if you go and leave a like and a comment, I would greatly appreciate it. If you're a pure, you need to tell me how you use Elder Chaos stuff because without the prayer bonus, my prayer goes down so fast. If you've been following the channel, I'm really just learning, and a lot of my content focuses around fighting people that are not fighting back. I do have plenty of videos that are PKing other PKers, but as someone who's learning, I, I'm definitely still picking up tips. And I get a lot of good ones in the comments, so I appreciate the constructive criticism. Kind of getting spit roasted by the dragons there, too. Nice. First key. The fact that the lower level and higher level ones aren't logging out or teleporting shows me that they do have some detection. It doesn't seem like the most sophisticated bot farm because they I can catch a TB, they don't instant tele. I don't know if that's a mechanic or uh, a feature that Jagex added in so people don't escape as easily here. It's under 20 wilderness, so technically they could just tab it. If it was a good bot farm, they'd get out instantly. There's an active cannon. In my level range. Oh, he doesn't have anti-venom, he's getting venom now. Alright, that's another one down. You gotta go for it, right? If nothing else, just for a little more action in the video. I don't think it's gonna throw off any price checks or anything too much. I also wasn't potted for that like an absolute buffoon. Nice, so 101. And he's in a perfect spot for me to not get hit by the dragons. Got him. So far it's really only been UK worlds that I've found them. That's just a random UK world after a bunch of American worlds and there's a bot in it. There's got to be a reason for it. Maybe someone's just PKing on American Worlds and getting all of them. Or maybe the farms are just in UK Worlds. Let's see. I'll let you know if I find any... Oh! That was a German World, I think. This is still about testing, so... Hopefully. But maybe I will find some there. Bot down. That's five keys again. Any standouts? Some really good ones, actually. Oh, that was the guy that I killed. Poor guy. Not that much more than a bot would have, though. All of them were at least decent. Should be one without much loot, let's see. But even just their gear is worth something. It's like base 50k worth of loot. The pathing there is crazy. He got out. That's so crazy. I might be smiting some of them, it's hard to know. Or... I, I just, I don't get why pathing's like that. I don't know if I'm gonna catch them. They do seem to really screw up sometimes, but I can't imagine he doesn't just log out when he can. Oh, we paused. Nice. Yeah, these this is just not a well-programmed bot farm. I guess they probably don't care because, you know, they're making a lot of money regardless. 
Hey, that was the first U.S. world I found one on. It was one of the low ones, but that's interesting. It was in a West Coast U.S. world. I haven't been skipping them, I just literally haven't found a single one besides him. Alright, that gotta be it, right? Hmm, that one's not trying to run. I wonder what that's about. Yeah, I am. Well, I gotta go for it. Alright, Bucko, I'm a jam too. I know the feeling. Five keys, let's get out of here. I was low on supplies anyway. Alright, let's see. He really didn't have much. Knock it down to them, prepping him for dead man mode. I haven't really tried Australian world, so let's give that a shot too. Yep, there's one right away, 102. I'm pretty sure there's new Sunfire runes or a Sunfire tome or something that make this a little bit better. Um, I haven't tried it out yet, so I'll have to check it out for the next time I come here. Oh my gosh, what is this? No! <laughs> the splashes are so bad today. Oh yeah. I'm just walking. I swear, I'm my own worst enemy. 75 attack and I'm still not that accurate. Five keys, let's go. Really hoping for like Trover's Parchment or something to stand out. 224. Magic Shortbow Scroll. That's another good item you can get. I forgot about those. It's just a full inventory. A little over six minutes left, so let's see if we can get a few more keys on the board. I haven't looked at my loot tracker, so I have no idea how much I've made, but it must be pretty good. It's just out in the middle of nowhere. I should have probably blocked first. Might as well get them. They park here for some reason. When they're running out, they do it, and when they're running in, they seem to do it. Will freebie there? I have only a few minutes left, so I might as well take it. Bonds are like 12 mil now. They'd have to make more than 12 mil in two weeks. Which is kind of crazy to think about. I guess if they're making like five, 600k an hour, whoa, they have to run like for one day, one full day. They must rotate them a little bit. Otherwise, they'd just get banned. Last trip's actually going really well. I have two minutes left. This should be key number four. I gotta get one more. Alright, that looks like time is up. Four keys on that last one. I thought I was gonna get five for sure. Anything decent? Just standard loot, really. That was the guy that I got without anything on him. Alright, with the hour up, I'm gonna look at the loot tracker. Let's see what we got. 2.32 mil, plus 300k that I didn't have on the tracker originally. That's insane money, 2.6 mil in one hour. I'd like to see some other people try this out and see how much they get in one hour. A couple tips I would give you is skip the US Worlds because out of maybe the 30 or 40 I checked, I only found one bot in there. I'd also make sure you have a good range of combat levels. I think if I come back in a week, I'll be able to hit that lower farm and the medium farm. So it is about timing. This is great money if you're rebuilding. I bet you can get 4 mil an hour. This is something that I'll have to revisit. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like. It really, really helps me out. I'd love to see some comments if you try this yourself. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you guys next time.